what was it like to have a stand at last year's Autumn Fair? Honestly, it was amazing. I was just honoured to have the opportunity to be one of the 12 to be selected. As a small business, you're always trying to step forward with what you do. I mean, what did you learn from that experience? At the show, you don't know who's going to come to your stand or what leads you're going to get. But as long as you give yourself a name every day and go with your A game, you're going to get the best experience out of the opportunities. Would you actually recommend other small businesses to do exactly what you did last year? Yeah, of course. The Autumn Fair is such an influential trade show. You get so many global retailers coming through and it's the best way to get a true retailer feedback on your product. It's been nearly a year since the Autumn Fair. What's happened to your business in that time? I can now say that my business has now gone globally in more independent retailers and chains as well. But I'm now also stocked in Australia. And then alongside that, I do a lot of design work, which I'm now collaborating with a Hong Kong placemat brand, which sell globally. And I've done two collections with them so far. This sounds amazing. Oh yeah, it's all the opportunities for the Autumn Fair. It's honestly, it's the first show I've gone to where I can showcase both my product work and my design work. So, so pleased to hear. But what's it like? I mean, we're in a a strange economic environment at the moment. What's it like for a small business in this environment? With small businesses, we're all keen to help one another out. You want everyone to succeed in their passion, and so you try and help out, whether it's advice or services. For me, when I was a small business, going to events, without doubt, there was always one surprise. Yeah. Did you get one last year? Yeah, it was those placemats, that design work because normally I'm focused really on the product side and I wasn't expecting any design work. I just wanted to show that I can do commissions and commission-based work. So has that sort of changed the direction of your business? It has, it's shifted it. So I now do a little bit more design work and it's what I love. I love sharing my patterns with the world. The sort of designs you were making on clothing before, that we saw at the Autumn Fair, how does that translate to placemats? So I'm a textile designer by trade. I've always created patterns for uh, fashion, wallpaper, greetings cards, whatever it may be. So it's shifted in the sense that I'm not looking to design for not to four year olds. I'm now having to do more sophisticated patterns uh, that will fit in with homeware. Where do you now see your business? Um, let's just say, I'm not gonna go silly, but let's say in the next 24 months, two years. So be able to sell my designs for wallpaper, for fabric, soft furnishings, I'd like to push that. What's the one piece of advice that you'd like to give? Be prepared. Just make sure you've got everything organised and just bring your A-game. You've got to just take in every opportunity. How would you best describe the people that actually visited the, uh, the show, your stand at the show? They were all super cheery, really positive. And I also got a lot of people who would give feedback because these days everyone wants to be more economical and care about the environment. So they'll be seeing if you'll be able to sit with them and what they want to do. Um, but everyone was really positive. Like, no one has a bad word to say. They're really encouraging, especially when they know you're a small business and you might be fairly new to it. They try and help you out, give you a little boost. And that sounds brilliant, but did that translate into actual orders? It did. From that, I did get five new shops. So you would say the Autumn Fair was the catalyst that your business needed? It was, yeah, it definitely was. It even, not just from getting the orders or pushing the sign work, but the motivation that, yeah, I can do this, I can do what I love.